Hey ladies and gentlemen, before I open up the guidebook app and show you some things it can do, I want to mention how our schedule works today. You need to decide if you want to take advantage of 50 minute sessions, or if you prefer, you can do the hour and 40 minute sessions, but you also get a 10 minute break in the middle. Keep in mind, these longer sessions only start every other hour. Well, 8, 10, and 1. So figure out how you want to make your day go. Keynotes start every hour at the hour in the morning and note that you can't do a longer session right in the middle. Longer sessions, for example, don't go from 9 to 11. So that's the basic concept of the schedule. Now let's go ahead and show you the guidebook app and what it can do. Hello ladies and gentlemen, let's take a second to look at guidebook. If you don't have the app yet and haven't used the feature to text the app link to your cell phone number, just touch the box here and type in MUSD. There we go, MUSD EdCon 2016. Go ahead and download. All right, a new feature of the app is this check-in ability, ability to get social. It's exciting. When you're ready, go ahead and touch the little menu there on the left-hand side. There are maps available to show you where you are on campus and the parking plan. Additionally, we have information about the keynote speakers by going to the speakers button. If you touch a speaker's name, you can not only read about them, but down here at the bottom, you can actually see what sessions they are offering at what time of day. So if you know you want to get to this keynote, you would touch there and ready to go ahead and add this to our session. If you don't see the add button, you see it down here at the bottom, add now. You can look back here at my schedule and see the things that you've added. If we go ahead and go down here to schedule, you can use the filter of the schedule tracks. But if you touch the three lines, you can apply filters. If I'm looking, for example, something with visual performing arts, and maybe something that involves creativity and innovation. If I apply those two filters, here I go. Those are the ones that apply to those topics. Now, that's everything that applied to either one. I can refine it again and take off the creativity and innovation, and it would just be those for visual and performing arts. Same thing for math or anything else. So that's the basic concept, ladies and gentlemen. You can add photos to our photo album. We would love to get some pictures from you. You can follow what's going on here in the main screen on Interact, the homepage. Download the app and have a great EdCon.